Good morning. Welcome to Live 5 with Pastor Ben. I'm glad you're tuning in today. This may be the most unique place that I have done Live for 5 so far in the owner's office at Integrity Glass in Mancus, Colorado. These guys are awesome, by the way. They, I'm, I'm so thankful they... I don't want to disturb them. They didn't want to disturb me, so they gave me the owner's office to do a, a video in. <laughs> so it's not the best lighting, it's not the best angle. I like to have the camera up a little bit higher, but uh, I mean, it, hey, um, we're, we're live and we'd be able to get to go to the text and spend time in this interactive way. It's just, uh, I'm in someone else's office today. You know, what are you gonna do? Uh, but these, these guys at Integrity, I've, I've used a different, a, a number of different glass places to get a windshield replaced. That's what's happening today. The windshield in my van needs to be replaced, so we're getting that replaced. And uh, I've used a number of different places, but these guys in Mank is the best. It's most streamlined with my insurance, and uh, they've, they, they've been wonderful. They come to your house unless with our van, they have to calibrate the camera. So anyways, I greatly support Integrity Glass in Mankus, Colorado. But good morning, Terry and Diana and Bev and Todd. I'm glad you guys are on today. Let's make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. If you pull out the YouVersion Bible app, it takes you to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Oh, okay. Paul starts off by saying, my God, because Paul was the recipient of a gift, which is the reality of a sacrifice that was pleasing to God and it wasn't his. Um, keeping in mind when he says things like this, he's got a very checkered past and he's very, very thankful because he realizes that he doesn't deserve in it. Well, how bountiful is this? According to his riches in glory in connection with Christ. And so we, we need to read this as it stands. Um, you know, this is when when you have someone saying, well, what about the person that dies from starvation? This doesn't seem like it fits with that. This is not what that's about. We read this as it stands. The riches are in glory, and the glory is in Christ. So incredibly, we're told, uh, because Paul should then say, according to the riches of his glory in Christ. That's what he's saying here. So Paul... What Paul means is God will fill your every need in glory. Now, that's the text and the way in which we need to take this in. All this glory is, is shining forth, coming from his love and his grace in Jesus Christ. So that Paul is... Paul is a very compounded and articulate speaker, but you can't just take things the way you would maybe speak them, and the thing you latch on to is every need. Paul wants all three of these things to be included in this phrase, which denotes the norm and the measure that God is using, and then fills every need of the Philippians. So God will use his great riches, the riches that shine in glory and this glory connected with Christ Jesus, our blessed Savior. So taking that all together then. And now something that is also helpful for you to consider in reading this is this is the outro. This is the last section of Philippians. Philippians chapter 4. And if you go and read chapter 4, there are so many texts in here that you've heard before and maybe have memorized. In verse 1, we have stand firm. In verse 4, we have rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. I mean, we, that one's quite familiar. In verse 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything pray and bring supplications and thanks and requests to be known to God. Um, in verse 11, he says, I have learned to be content in every situation. And then in verse 13, 
everyone knows this one too, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. All of these things are wrapping together in trusting in God's riches, in his glory, in Christ Jesus. And so don't, don't just take this in view of, of food or finances or clothing or, or things like that. That's, that is part of this too, but that is, such, that is so short-sighted for what Paul is wanting the Philippians to know. He's wanting them to trust in the gifts that God has given and his glory that God has given. And how do you see this? In the cross. Because Christ is crucified and risen for you. And so just three verses later, Paul concludes the whole book by saying, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Context is king. It, it really drives this text. And I, I, unfortunately, so many verses from the chat from Philippians chapter four are pulled out of context and, and misused and misapplied. Um, honestly, because they're really neat sound bites. This text sounds cool too. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. But see the compoundedness of this and then rest in the compoundedness of this that the riches come in the glory of what Christ has done. And when was Jesus Christ's glory the greatest? On the cross. When will it be greater? When he returns. Let us pray. Your heavenly Father, you've provided for all of our needs in this rich glory of Christ. We pray that you would help us to rest in these riches in the glory and that we would see it through the lens of the cross and that this would affect the way we live and treat people around us. We pray this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I thank you for your patience, for the different setting, for the noises, and uh, but I pray that this could was still edifying and helpful and encouraging to you. Um, blessings to you in Christ. I look forward to seeing you Sunday live here, live in the sanctuary. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a blessed day in the Lord.